Hello, Wesley. Hi. We are happy to have you here today for a little video interview. Here in Canada, yeah. you competed at Skate Canada, but we want to introduce you a little bit to our viewers and to figure skating fans uh, because you are relatively new still on the senior yeah. scene. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, how how did you get into figure skating? Uh, yeah, so I actually started right here in Vancouver, British Columbia. Uh, I started at the rink that I was training at. Actually, it was where the 2010 Winter Olympics were held uh, at the Richmond Olympic Oval. Uh, I remember taking my first steps there when it was still a speed skating track, but now it has turned into two beautiful ice rinks that we train on every day. So you were inspired by the Olympics to start skating? Uh, yeah, sort of. I was, when I was little, I was trying all the different sports pretty much. Uh, including skating and something about skating I just really loved being on the ice and feeling that glide on the blade underneath me was yeah something that I wanted to pursue for sure. Oh, so and what were the other sports you tried? And uh, yeah I tried everything I did swimming for a bit I actually played tennis for quite a while uh, doing both simultaneously with skating but uh, yeah ultimately I chose to stick with skating. And you said it was the, the gliding on the ice that fascinated you. And yeah. uh, what else maybe? Then did you said, okay, I'm st I'll stick with skating. Yeah, when I was uh, first starting out, I went through Skate Canada's Can Skate program. It was sort of like learning how to skate. That's kind of really where I fell in love with the glide on the blade. Uh, and then as soon as I graduated that, program uh, I kind of had to choose between the different ice sports and just watching on TV all the top figure skaters doing their crazy jumps and spins uh, yeah it really inspired me to sort of copy them in a way when I saw you for the first time on the junior yeah. country you reminded me a lot of Patrick Chan <laughs> <laughs> So, um, was who, maybe Patrick or maybe other skaters who inspired you? Yeah, definitely. Um, as a Canadian growing up, uh, obviously Patrick was at the top uh, in the, of the figure skating world, so I definitely watched a lot of Patrick growing up. And also uh, Yuzuru Hanyu when he kind of rose to the top as well. Uh, but yeah, uh, Patrick is now in, living in Vancouver, so he's had his... Uh, He's vis visited our rink many times, uh, just here and there. Um, his wife Liz also coaches at our club, which is really cool. So yeah. Oh, nice. So, so what advice maybe did Patrick give to you? Uh, yeah, I remember, I think before the season started, he kind of came to our rink and just sat down and we kind of talked about competing at home, uh, what it feels like to compete in Canada and any things uh, that I could work on in terms of uh, mental focus and mental preparation because I know he definitely had a lot of challenges with skating last and uh, yeah kind of defending a title so yeah a lot of advice there and really just how to handle myself at these big Grand Prix. So how was it for you or how is it for you in general to compete in your home country and here this is even your Vancouver is even your hometown yeah, I have to say it's pretty special because not many people get to compete at, in their home country to begin with, but uh, even fewer people get to compete kind of in their own city where they live. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely been a very memorable experience um, having uh, all the locals kind of come out, family, friends, everyone that I skate with, uh, come out to support. And there were also a, little, a lot of little ones uh, out there uh, watching. And yeah, actually two years ago when it was Skate Candles here in Vancouver, uh, I was actually in the stands kind of just watching. So this time actually getting to compete is something that I'll remember forever. So you feel it's not harder to compete at home? Or, or is it easier or harder? Because it depends. Some people now think it's harder, but others feel even more inspired by being at home. Yeah, for sure. There's definitely both sides to it. Uh, it's definitely more challenging, for sure, just being 
familiar with everything. You kind of know everyone that's around. So there's a bit more distractions when it comes to that. Uh, but also with the home crowd kind of cheering you on to the very end, it sort of gives you a new different type of energy when you're out on the ice, which was really helpful and motivating for sure. So how do you see your development as a skater? So from maybe, yeah, compared to last season to this season? Yeah, definitely. Last season was my first time on the Senior Grand Prix and there were a lot of new experiences uh, from that. Uh, overall, this season was sort of a bit up and down, sort of uh, good free skates and good short programs, uh, sort of separate. But this season, I want to really bring those together and consistently put out those strong results, not having too many fluctuations between the short and free program. Yeah, consistency yeah. is the key. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> yeah. Achieve. You have two new programs. Uh, yes. Like Romeo and Juliet, very romantic, yeah. and then Kill Bill, a very different kind of life. Can you explain a little bit why you chose these programs and how did you choose them? Yeah, so going into this season, one thing I really want to focus on was just trying to uh, experiment with different types of styles of skating and different musics that I could use. Uh, we're still a few few years away from the Olympics, so I just kind of want to experiment with different types of movements, see what works for me, see what uh, maybe is one of my weaknesses that I could work on. So yeah, this season with those two programs, they're completely opposite types of programs, I would say. But yeah, it's definitely been fun to push myself out of my comfort zone. Which program you feel is closer to your personality, the more lyrical romantic or the more, let's say, yeah, not maybe aggressive, but a little <laughs> different? Yeah, I would definitely have to say the short program with the lyrical side. Uh, most of my career, I've actually skated to more calmer music, more artistic types of pieces. So yeah, I'm definitely more comfortable with that type of music. Uh, but the long program with Kill Bill is also really exciting and I have so much fun putting out a new type of energy for the crowd. Yeah. Have you watched the movie? Uh, I haven't watched, I've watched Romeo and Juliet, uh, but I've seen clips here and there of Kill Bill. So yeah, I have to get on that for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a cool movie too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, and then you are training here in Richmond, as you already said, yeah. and one of your training mates is Liam Kapikis, yes. who also competes, at, and you actually compete in some events together. Yeah. So how is it, how are you pushing each other in practices? Yeah, it's definitely very motivating having Liam alongside uh, in training, uh, just sort of kind of pushing me uh, just to get better, uh, not kind of fall down too much. Uh, but yeah, having someone that I can sort of relate with, share my experiences with uh, at the rink and at these big events is pretty special, yeah. So, so far you have the quad toe and quad south toe in addition yeah. to obviously all the triple jumps in your uh, res uh, repertoire. Yeah. Um, are you working on other elements or what elements would you like to add to your program? Uh, yeah, so the quad style is actually a new jump for me this season. Uh, and I've also been working on a quad lutz. Uh, it's been going really well in training and uh, we're just kind of working on getting that consistency to put it in, out in competition because uh, doing it in training and competition is really a different challenge. So yeah, it's going well and I hope to sh kind of show more of it as the season moves forward. Yeah, so you said that South Coast is a new jump for you. And yeah. How nerve-wracking is it when you try it for the first time in competition? Yeah, it's definitely pretty nerve-wracking <laughs> for sure. You kind of just have to rely on your muscle memory. And yeah, you've trained, trained it so many times in training. You just got to put the thinking aside and just let your body do it. In Canada now, the men's field is pretty open. You yeah. are almost uh, everybody's same level, kind of, uh, yeah. after the retirement of Keegan. And uh, so, and Worlds is in Canada too. So, yes. <laughs> how, what's your goal for the season? Uh, yeah, with, the, with Keegan retiring, uh, definitely uh, the top spot is up for grabs. Um, I think having the other top Canadian men, Conrad, Steven, Roman, out there uh, is definitely 
good for Canadian skating, having that depth. We're kind of pushing each other because, you, like you said, we're sort of at the same level. So yeah, it's definitely really motivating to kind of push each other along. And yeah, the goal is definitely to be in Montreal for the 2024 Worlds. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of work to be done. Yeah. How would you describe your personality? Uh, yeah, I'd definitely say more reserved. <laughs> Uh, especially being sort of new on the scene. Uh, yeah, but I'm kind of getting more comfortable with being in the spotlight, skating in front of lots and lots of people. So yeah, I'm feeling more comfortable now and starting to open up. And uh, for sure also when you communicate with other skaters from other countries, who are maybe your friends from skating? Yeah, def for Liam, <laughs> yeah definitely made a lot of friends along the way. Uh, a lot of Canadian skaters, Roman, Conrad, uh, all of those. And also uh, Una and Gage, I've competed against them or with them uh, in junior and now in senior. So yeah, having all these amazing skaters alongside me is definitely very, it's a definitely a very supportive environment in the skating world, yeah. I saw you, one of your hobbies is hiking. Yeah. <laughs> so why do you like hiking? And maybe you have any favorite hiking spots you want to share? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, in VC, we have a lot of mountains just literally right in our backyard. So hiking has been one of my favorite things to do in the summer. Uh, and a few of my recommendations uh, would be the grouse grind. Uh, in at uh, the Grouse Mountain, it's about maybe 45 minutes away from here. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a fun trail to do in the summer. Uh, lots of incline, lots of stairs. <laughs> so, yeah, I try to do. I try to hike at least once every summer. But okay. yeah, definitely a lot of fun. What? Yeah. What uh, do you like about hiking? Uh, I think just being outside. Uh, Vancouver has really nice weather in summer with. Uh, lots of sun and pretty good temperature. So yeah, I just love being outside a lot. Uh, I also like to bike a lot, which is also an outdoor activity. So yeah, I just love being out here in Vancouver. It's, the weather is so nice. Yeah, you're very lucky. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for such sure. It's a beautiful environment here. Yeah. And off the ice, so I mean, and outside um, hiking and cycling, what else do you do? And what's about maybe school or studying? Uh, yeah, definitely outside of hiking, cycling. <laughs> I watch a lot of hockey. Uh, in, in North America, NHL is really popular. So yeah, I've been getting into that. And in terms of school, I'm going into college, uh, just part-time, sort of on the side of skating. Just, uh, I'm going to kinesiology, actually. So yeah, it kind of works well with skating. And yeah, definitely enjoying it a lot. So you maybe will become a physiotherapist in the future? Uh, yeah, maybe physio, PT, sort of something in that realm. Uh, I love to stick in the sports, sports world. So yeah, I definitely, definitely very interesting for me. Have you any athletes in your family? Or are you the only one? Uh, no, not really. I have a bunch of cousins that kind of play sports here and there, but uh, figure skating, definitely, I'm the only one, yeah. And how does your family support you? Uh, yeah, they give me a lot of support, just at the rink and at competitions. Uh, yeah, driving me to the rink every day um, with training, and it's definitely long hours for sure, so I'm really thankful, yeah, to have their support day in and day out. Where do you see yourself in, let's say, five years? Uh, yeah, hopefully at the Olympics in Torino, <laughs> but, uh, Milan. oh, sorry, Milan, yeah, in Italy, th that's definitely one of my bigger goals for sure, and also at the World Championships, I want to be top 10, let's say, yeah, in five years, uh, th those two things are definitely my bigger goals, but there are many small little steps that I have to take uh, in order to reach those bigger goals, but yeah, that would be the dream. <laughs> We hope that your dreams come true and we will look forward to seeing you on the ice soon. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.